So, much like the progressive rock community from the 70s, the progressive rock scene nowadays has seen a lot of solo and sharing of musicians. And Car Mechanic is one of those bands that has kind of come out of other bands. Not quite a supergroup and not quite a solo project, but somewhere kind of in between. And they have released their next latest album, so let's dive in. Time and time again. Dot by Car Mechanic. So as I said, Car Mechanic isn't quite a solo project, but it's not quite a super group either. It's kind of one of those just progressive rock projects, shall we say. It's kind of being spearheaded by the lead bassist of Jonas Ringgold. This guy was the bassist from The Flower Kings. And as with a lot of this, there's a couple of side performers as well. Uh, we find Andy Tellison from The Tangent coming on here as well, but only as like a guest appearance on the second and sixth track. And Dot, it's the fifth studio album from Car Mechanic. I heard about Car Mechanic from their third studio album, and in my mind, still the best album, Who's the Boss in the Factory? We're here because Car Mechanic makes some beautiful, optimistically celebration of songs here. And that's felt even within the first two songs of Dot, which is more of just a little bit of a, an opening of the band. There's not really any music. It kind of sets the stage. It lets the, the musicians kind of air out their instruments before playing them. And then we get right into, and I have to actually read my notes for this long one, of God, the universe, and everything else. No one really cares about part one. This takes up the first half of the album at a great 24 minutes. I feel at this point, unless your grand epic is really going to say something new or try something different, there's really no reason to have it at such a length. Luckily, we find here that it does actually go somewhere. The twists and turns that this first song has is really quite interesting and I really like it. Now true, there's no real groundbreakingly new territory that we're exploring here. A lot of it is kind of that paint by numbers, Flower Kings, or that progressive rock that we found that's coming out of Sweden at this time. So within that, there's really nothing grand that's being discovered here. Now on the flip side, Still, what we're presented with is really, really great. I'm loving a lot of that build up and that tear down. And upon the first couple of listens of this song, there's really, like I thought for the first half of the song, up in about the 13 minute mark, I felt, okay, we've already heard a lot of this before. We've heard this kinds of music. We've heard this kind of themes that are coming out of this. The lead singer of Goran Edmund sounds a lot like that lead singer that we've heard from the Flower Kings of Hans Furberg. The two sound very, very similar, so that kind of sets that same kind of a tone that I'm used to. Within that, I felt like I was, I don't know, I was, I was a little bit disappointed of just where that was going, but luckily, once we get into that second part of that song, past that 13 minute mark, that's when it really starts to build up, and that's where I like the car mechanic. Car mechanic has a little bit of a darker tone and a darker edge to it that Flower Kings were using more in their latest two albums with a little bit of a darker undertone, but these guys, it's a little bit sharper and a little bit more nuanced as well. And I like how subtle these guys are as well. This is where Car Mechanic really, really shines. And this is why I really like their um, album from Who's the Boss in the Factory. It's that subtle moment where there's not a whole lot of that big sound going on. It's just, you know, a little bit of a atmosphere with the synthesizers or even a guitar. And then there's either the guitar or the keyboards that's really playing up and really building that song up. And that, within that final of the track, that's where I really, really enjoy. And I love that quote, and almost the reason why the album is called Dot, where we're still just a pale blue dot floating out in the middle of space, even if we destroy ourselves, or even if we're all gone, that's essentially what is all going on. And that's where that reprisal of, we are everything, in fact, you know, everything that we experience is within ourselves. So in that sense, we are everything, but in the same sense, we're really nothing when you kind of compare it to the grand scheme of everything. It's both very optimistic in the fact that we are both everything, as well as we're both nothing. So it's got that duality between that. And from here we 
come into higher ground and this song is really solidifying my love for Car Mechanic. It's got that dark undertone and that dark edge that I was talking about but instead of being just another copycat of the progressive rock scene that we get today, this song really helps put its own style and its own identity to it as well. When you're listening to it, you know you're listening to a car mechanics. We can tell now five albums in that everybody's really comfortable with playing with one another. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for the fourth song of Steer by the Stars. This song is a little bit hard to get through. It's very much that accessible prog that we hear a lot. I know a lot of prog bands nowadays like to try their hand at more of that ballady style, and unfortunately, a lot of the times it doesn't quite land and it doesn't quite work. Now, luckily, we are ushered into the next two songs, and these songs blend very well together. This one we have as the traveling mind, and I love the passion that is felt here. Again, that lead singer of Goran, the passion is felt very much in his voice, and that is just echoed with everybody that's playing here. I love that playout of this song as well, where the guitars are really swimming. And I haven't mentioned it yet, Jonas's playing on the bass really helps ground everything that we've been hearing. And I always loved his playing in The Flower Kings, and so here is no exception. Rounding out the album, we have God, the Universe, and Everything Else That Nobody Really Cares About, Part 2, where we're revisiting that theme that opened up the song in Part 1, but this time the band is really able to play. They stretch their legs and they really air it out. I felt like this album, although it was lacking in certain things, definitely made up for it in others as well. So it was kind of a little bit of a mixed grab bag for me, but the more I've been listening to it, the more I've enjoyed it as well. So I gotta say, you gotta stream this guy with a good pair of headphones. You're gonna wanna listen to it. If you're a fan of the Flower Kings, if you're a fan of this type of modern prog, then definitely give it a spin. You're gonna enjoy yourself. But do keep in mind, there's no real big new ground that's being discovered here. It's just kind of... At certain points it is kind of a paint by numbers prog album, but on other points you will be surprised of what the band is able to churn out with those numbers. And so that's about it for Dot by Car Mechanic. What did you guys think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Either way, let me know by commenting below. And thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are definitely the best. Until next time, notes out.